Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. You know a lady named Sue Whitney? I do not. Uh, I do not. I feel like I might have been hurt coming up the, walking up yeah. the path there. You Sorry. know what I'm looking for. Okay. No, uh, I said you know what I'm looking for because you know her gray hair. Yep. Cause you know her gray hair. Yep. Her gray hair. Yep. I didn't notice it yet, but the rotisserie just crapped out on me in the middle of the event. It was at this moment that he knew. Because the fire was focused on one spot, the fat was rendering and flaring up. My first thought was to lift up the meat. I also then had to move the basting liquid. Now to investigate. Moving the meat by hand helped reduce the flare-ups and buy myself some time. What's going on, man? It was about then that I realized the drive gear set screw had come loose. I looked at the van and I think of all of the tools I have in the van, I know I don't have any Allen wrenches. This is me taking a deep breath and trying to think, how can I remedy this? Uh, it's right in front of you. 
try to get it. Sure. Let me meet up higher. At this point, I figure out if I get the lamb off the heat, I'd have a little more time to fix the issue. After telling the head chef about the issue, she suggested I move the lamb to the grill. Well, duh. I tempt the lamb and it was only at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Nowhere near done. Oh, crap. Did you hear that? It's about 1.30 p.m. at this point, and the food needs to be ready for service at 2 p.m. Where are we going to set this? The top here. The bar bar. Are you going to all the way to the bottom there? Yep. This was the man who hired me to do this event. Damn right I lied to him. No need to worry. I know I need to kick up the heat in the grill, so I take some charcoal from the rotisserie and move it to the grill in an attempt to cook the food faster. I redistributed the coals I left in the rotisserie to help keep the lamb warm before I cut it off the spit and got it on the grill to cook. <laughs> this is where the head chef jumps in and tries to help. <laughs> That's twice now. I did audibly laugh that time. She asked me why I don't wear something to stop the smoke. I told her I just hold my breath. Good 
Just one? Kylie, do you need me or am I going back up? Alright. Not right now, thank you. Yell for me to send someone. I will. That chef says, the one thing I don't do is grill. No, you don't say. This was after things calmed down and I was finishing the last of the chicken and almost done for the day. All right, so I am in Vanna and I am gonna wrap this up. I got a couple clips today. Hopefully they turned out okay. I think and I know I probably will. I don't have my seatbelt on yet. I will have a lessons learned from using that grill for the first time and also using that rotisserie. Renting and using that rotisserie for the first time. Uh, all in all, it was a success. I did singe my beard. Uh, that is definitely not the highlight of today. <laughs> But nonetheless, uh, I did have a good time. It's been a long day. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. We're gonna talk over the, the reminder. I'm gonna get to it in a second. Thank you again, as always, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes, I'm tired. Five plus about hours on the grill today. I'm beat. <laughs>